Hello everyone, Lance with Happy Homes Property Manager. Today we're at 9815 English Elm Street in Ladson, uh, close to the Palmetto Commerce Parkway. Uh, this is a five bedroom, three and a half bath. A real treat for you today, for sure. All right, just coming into the property, you have this front office room. Uh, of course, it could be a playroom, uh, it does have double doors that are glass. Uh, they do close so you can have your privacy, eliminate some sound. Uh, but right off the front here, you've got this beautiful office space and beautiful wood flooring through the property. Uh, it does go all the way through on the first floor. And uh, I will go through the layout as we go through the video. But uh, so walking right past this, you would have. Um, Typically your formal dining area uh, it does have a nice Wayne's coating here on the bottom looks very nice uh, flows very well and Into the living room as you can see that's also an open Style floor plan into the kitchen, which we'll get to here in a second uh, Apologize for the lighting. It is kind of a overcast day here in Ladson uh, But right next to the living room you do have your uh, half bath in here your pretty standard sink mirror and of course your facility over here uh, so it's accessible right outside of the living room kitchen and your formal dining area but moving on we'll walk through the living room you do have your cable internet hookup right here in the wall with your outlets it does have a ceiling fan in here as well and your windows outlooking the screen porch in the backyard which we will get to here later in the video uh, so over here off the kitchen, you do have another, I guess, dining area you'd call it. Maybe like a, you know, home workstation or after workstation. But you could still fit a, a decent sized table here uh, right off of the kitchen as well. Do have the nice countertops throughout. Of course, your stainless steel appliances. Does have a gas range right there. Uh, your double door refrigerator, your microwave up top there as well with a circulating system. Uh, you do have the deep sink and the dishwasher. And plenty of cabinet space. It does wrap around in the kitchen and there are two other cabinets right above the refrigerator. A little high up there, but still some extra storage. And while we're right here, we'll go ahead and move into the pantry. It is a uh, sort of an L-shaped type storage that comes through here, but plenty of shelving. There's five shelves on each wall, so plenty of space in here. Uh, and we'll get to this closet here in a second, but you do have the double garage doors. Uh, they are electric opening. Uh, as you can see, plenty of storage out here in the garage, uh, the trash cans. And they do have a storage shelf right here that you'll be able to use. And they have their hurricane precautions here, uh, if that were ever to come up. But right off of the garage, you do have your coat closet. So I guess essentially your main point of entry would be through the garage, uh, but you do have access to this right here. One cool thing about this layout, I did mention it's a five bedroom. The first bedroom is actually on the first floor. So if you have guests, uh, family members, whoever, you do have access to this room right here on the first floor. Very sizable, can fit any furniture set up. Uh, it does have a pretty decent walk-in closet right here as well. Uh, it does have an L-shaped storage rack up top and quite a bit of space in there. Also, it has its own full bathroom here on the first floor, uh, which is a big plus. So it does have a single vanity, your mirror and lighting, and of course you do have your shower tub combo with your facility, and uh, the shower has the built-in shelves into the wall there, so uh, just ready to go, and it looks wonderful. As you can tell, the cabinetry carries through. The countertops are a little different, but you do have tile in the bathrooms as well. So moving back out of here, we will start heading towards the staircase. So kind of giving you a second look, third look 
at this point of the kitchen area, living room, dining spaces, and back through the formal dining area, to the front office area, to the stairs. So the other four bedrooms are on the second floor. Of course, there is the other full bathroom, and then of course the master has its own. So right when we get up here, we will split it up. We will go to the left here first and work our way around. So over on this end over here, you do have the laundry room. You do have your washer and dryer right here included with the rental. And it does have one single storage shelf above there, but it is own, its own closed space, its own room right over here. So technically we'll be in bedroom number two right now. This is the smallest of the five, um, but you could still fit any furniture type setup you have in here and still have plenty of space to move around. You won't be restricted by dressers and things like that. You'll still be able to fit anything and everything up here. Walk-in closet as well, L-shaped, and attic access is in this closet. So just for reference. Right outside of here, you also have a linen closet, which is nice to have near the laundry room, towels, extra items, sheets, uh, whatever you need. You'll be able to put those right in here and not have to take up a lot of space uh, in your laundry room with those items. And on the left, this is the other full bathroom. Uh, it does have a single vanity. As you can see, it's very similar to the first floor. Cabinets, countertops, shower setup, everything is almost identical through here. Now on to bedroom number three. This one is a little bit larger than the one first one we saw while we were up here. Um, does have a little different closet layout. It's not necessarily a walk-in. It has the double doors with the shelf up top, but still can fit any furniture setup. And this room is a little bit larger than that one uh, down the hall here. And moving on, we will move to the fourth bedroom before we get to the master. Again, this room is probably identical in size to that one we just came out of. Uh, the only difference is the closet. Uh, the closet is a walk-in in this room. So again, same with the furniture setup. You will not be restricted. Uh, king size bed and tall long dresser and you'll still have plenty of move, room to move around. So the l shaped storage up here again. Uh, this closet is larger than the first room as well. So just for reference. And last but not least, we have the master. It does have a double door opening into here. This room is extremely spacious, plenty of room overlooking the backyard and the pond back here. And this room is just absolutely ginormous. And I'll go, I'm all the way back in the corner here and you can just see how much space is actually in here. And there are outlets all over the room, so you can really set it up however you like, for sure. Uh, wherever you wanted to set up your bed and, you know, a TV, what have you, you have multiple options for that. Large walk-in closet, U-shaped storage shelving. Um, I can actually walk all the way back in here as well, just for reference for you. But there is plenty of space in here. And right across from the master closet is the master bath, dual vanity. Again, you'll see the same similar countertops and cabinetry. Uh, the only thing different in here, of course, is you have a separate tower or shower and separate tub. Uh, it does have like the back support piece in there. But a nice tile shower, glass door, and you do have a linen closet in your bathroom as well. And of course you have your facility with its own door. Uh, for privacy as well so master definitely a luxury up here very, a lot of space big closet and a very nice bathroom and that sums it up for the second floor so just a quick recap you've got your office formal dining living room kitchen 
and first bedroom with its own master bath. You also have a half bath on the first floor. Second floor, you have the other four bedrooms, including the master. And then you have the two full baths upstairs, plus the laundry. So you've just got all the space you could possibly need or want uh, in this property. Now to kind of close things out, we're gonna go out back here. You do have a screened in back porch. And it's overlooking the pond as you can see back here. So you keep out all the bugs, but still enjoy it while you're out here. Um, and we'll go back. You do have a decent sized yard as well, you know, for activities, hanging out, plenty of space back here to enjoy. Uh, for instance, this is being filmed in November of 2022 and there is not a bug in sight. So typically people have concerns with that, especially with having water behind the property, but it doesn't seem to be an issue right now. And it is roughly two o'clock and it is perfectly quiet back here. And then we'll go ahead and take a walk out the side of the property to get you a little glimpse again of the front of the property with the garage. Of course, now the sun wants to come out now that we're near the end. All right. So again, this is 9815 English Elm Street in Ladson, the five bedroom, three and a half bath. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website at happyhomespm.com or feel free to call our office at 843-608-8845. My name's Lance and thanks for watching.